Hello, good morning friends. Welcome to the Sher Khan pre-market. Yesterday we saw profit booking in Nifty and Sensex both before the uh, crucial meet of FOMC. Nifty ended in a red by down by 2 point and Sensex ended also in a red by down by 45 points. Now yesterday some of the stocks was the budgers. They were up in yesterday's trades. Was Idea, Bale, Bank of Baroda, Grasim and Aditya Birla Nubu. Some of the stocks which were laggard yesterday was from the IT sector, TCS, Infosys, Bipro, HCL Tech and uh, Tata Power. Now, uh, if we talk about on the global market front, European markets have closed on a positive note yesterday before the crucial uh, FOMC meet. US market have uh, ended in a green up by 113 point Dow Jones and 20 point, Sense, uh, 20 point SNP because uh, FOMC's decision by raising interest rate by 25 BPS was on expected lines. Now, if you talk about Asian markets, Asian markets currently, uh, currently trading in a green, only uh, the exception was Nikkei which is currently trading minus 25 point, otherwise all the markets are trading in a green. If we talk about uh, on the FI activity side, uh, FI was the net bias yesterday to the tune of 11.41 crore in cash segment, DI bought 127 crores in cost cash segment and in FNO index future segment FI sold 237 crores. Now getting cues from the world markets, uh, SGX Nifty is currently trading up by 78 points. Now thank you, uh, we will have a derivative update from the derivative analysis. Thank you. Good morning friends, we will give analysis on derivatives. In uh, yesterday's trading session, it was like a Nifty have taken some kind of a pause. It was a flat trading session, so waiting for the Fed Reserve, uh, awaiting for the Fed outcome uh, as there was an uh, interest rate decision which was been scheduled uh, later uh, in yesterday's night. And uh, after that, market uh, did take uh, market did oscillate between negative and positive territory throughout the day. Uh, uh, not been able to take any kind of in direction. It was much like a pause in an uptrend. And Nifty managed to close on a flattish note with a gain of 0.07 percentage, settling at 9109.30. On the open interest terms, not much of activity. Uh, one percentage was added in the open interest. Uh, the absolute terms 2.74 lakh shares were added in the open interest. Cost of carry, however, increased significantly uh, from 4 percentage to 6.5 odd percentage. That is, Nifty is again trading at a premium of 24 points compared to 16, 17 odd points, which we have seen in day before uh, yesterday's trading session. Uh, put call ratio also increased by 7 basis point which was uh, again a sharp jump uh, since post the event of a uh, UP election verdict we have been seeing a constant up uh, we have seen a very sharp upside in the put call ratio from 0 0.90 basis point it have shoot up to 1.03 in just two trading sessions and yesterday's trade also we have seen a jump of around uh, 7 basis point from 0 0.96 to 1.03 that indicates that we have been seeing an aggressive uh, unwinding on the call side and simultaneously significant amount of uh, addition in the put options has been visible uh, by the market participants. Uh, volatility index uh, was more or less same at around 12 and a half odd levels. It was been more or less unchanged in yesterday's trade. On the option side as mentioned we have been seeing significant amount of unwinding on the call side. Uh, right from 9100 to 9300 call option all have been seeing an unwinding anywhere around 4 to 8 or percentage however 9200 per call option is now the is the highest in terms of open interest with around 50 or lakh shares into it on the put side uh, we have seen an addition in uh, 9100 put option a constant addition has been seen in the 9100 put option which is a positive sign for the market and it could act as a uh, as an immediate support for the market since last two trading sessions we have been seeing a lot of uh, addition in the 9100 put option however the base of it is quite low but since uh, the addition is quite substantial and it's quite noteworthy uh, while 9000 put option i have seen an addition of 6 percentage and 8900 i have seen an addition of around 8 to 9 odd percentage however 8800 put option is the highest in terms of open interest for this series uh, there are five securities in the bank period for today's trade jet airways uh, jindal steel reliance communication Bharat Finance and uh, JP Associates. On the FIS terms and index futures, there were net sellers by 237 crores, not much of activity by the FIS. Uh, in history trade, it, it was been uh, some kind of a profit booking was seen by the FIS in history trade. 
index options net buyers by 1025 crores while stock futures net net sellers by 380 crores and stock options net uh, sellers by 94 crores only on the market level of ids we have strength at 9020 with a low range of a vwap at 9020 and higher range at 9263 As the Nifty is trading positive, it's up by 71 odd points uh, in line with positive cues from the international markets. Uh, as the Nifty has been uh, trading uh, higher at 9180, indicating some kind of a positive to gap up opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now we'll update on the Sher Khan pre-market side. In this Sher Khan pre-market, we we'll talk about trading ideas and uh, what are the news uh, today which will be affecting the markets. and uh, we'll fill start with the first uh, trading ideas for the day and the first trading idea is uh, manpasan beverages because of they are expanding in tamil nadu market and they are uh, planning for a sri city plant uh, which will cost around 150 crores uh, for manpasan beverages in tamil nadu there is a cola ban so they want to take the advantage of that cola ban manpasan beverages so this is sentimentally positive for manpasan uh, keep an eye on manpasan and stop loss is 704 target 745 and 760 next long idea is uh, government in talks to give infrastructure status to logistics sector sector so this is sentimentally positive for logistics sector what we like in uh, uh, logistics segment was kanpur so keep an stop loss of uh, 1229 and target 1292 and 1317 now next a uh, long idea is ongc uh, ONGC cabinet of approves uh, coal based methane gas marketing and pricing freedom so this is sentimentally positive for uh, ONGC so keep an stop loss of 187 and target 196200 next long idea is HCL tech HCL tech is going to consider buyback on march 20 so positive for HCL tech keep an eye on uh, HCL tech and go long keep an stop loss of 830 target 855 and 865 Uh, these are from the ideas side now we'll have news update uh, on the news update side cabinet may consider gst bill next week gst council is expected to meet uh, and to finalize gst bill uh, today beard cell uh, which is a packaging company uh, have board approved splitting each shares with face value of rupees 10 into 5 also issuing one bonus share for every five shares held wipro have opens automotive engineering center in detroit MSS boards have approved share buyback price of 635 uh, shares which is a, they are buyback they are doing a buyback of around 8.6% of the equity now asian development bank approved 631 million loan for vijay chennai industrial corridor uh, government may initiate uh, reforms in financial sector soon exports jumped 70% in feb trade deficit have widened uh, in this month feb month SBI have approved plans to raise up to 15000 crore in capital by way of FPO ADR and other things there are the merger talk of ONGC in HPCL and this is now on the ministerial level Moody uh, which is a rating agency says uh, BJP win in Uttar Pradesh uh, election is a positive credit positive for India Sipla gets tentative approval for Darunavir ethanol oral tablet Uh, MOS Aviation Ministry is considering amending 100% for foreign airline ownership rule. This is positive for airline company like Spices, Jet Airways, and uh, Indigo. Uh, Murugappa Group, uh, uh, Coromandel in talks to buy uh, Nagarjuna fertilizer. Sentimentally positive for Nagarjuna fertilizer. Keep an eye on that. Idea Cellular uh, said they are not considering uh, stake sale uh, to ATC. also they are not planning to demerge business right now uh, there are some sources which are saying that century textile revive plans to sell paper business they are expecting a valuation of around 5000 crore which will be used for payment of uh, long term debt uh, g entertainment boards have approved acquisition of 80% stakes in margo networks for be 75 crores uh, cabinet have approved national health uh, health policy to promote affordable health care Cabinet have approved uh, sale of 24% in Librojol by Indian Oil Corporation. Uh, Bharti is not to monetize controlling stakes in Bharti Infratel for now, and Bharti have transfer 400 million Infratel shares to their unit called Netel uh, Infra. 
SBI and uh, CREDI, which is a reality uh, real estate body, have uh, signed an MU to work towards providing housing for all. Uh, these are from the uh, news side. Now, what are the uh, stocks which we like on the positive buy side? The positive buys are LIC Housing, Wipro and TVAT, and on the negative side, Oil India. These are our advisory pick which we like for a longer term perspective and we also recommending our client to buy for a 12 to 18 months perspective and these ideas will go into flash on ET now between 9.15 am to 9.30 am. Uh, company what we like are LIC Housing, KEC International, Insecticides India, Glenmark and Bajaj Corp. Thank you friends from the Sherkhan pre-market side. Have a good trading session. Thank you.